Every super park, as far as I can remember, there's always been a moment where you just take it all in and a session happens, where you just sit down and you look over and you see 30 tripods to your left, 20 tripods to your right, and then you look over your shoulder and you see the best of the best in snowboarding sitting down going, something's about to happen here. And all of a sudden it, it becomes an event. Watching Lonnie and Shalom just session huge jumps is like you could sit down with a group of your friends and just watch a show. If you have 15 of your homies cheering you on while you ride, I mean, sessions come with friends. It's kind of like a big gathering at the end of the season. I think having all of those riders at Super Park, I think it keeps it all cohesive and you see where it's come from, where it is and where it's going. When you see like a group of friends really vibing and like pushing each other, it's a pretty special moment to watch people like that into what they're doing. It's like going to a Star Wars or something. You can just like post up like it where it's going off and just watch the show. It's rare that pro snowboarders can still have that awe and wonderment like when they first popped in a Mac Dog movie. You see that at Super Park. This is a moment where everybody really gets together. It's like magic. That's why we're still snowboarding, you know? Like, it's like you get out there and like, you think you might be able to do something, but in the back of your head, you're like, I, there's no way. And then all of a sudden, like you're leaving at the end of the day and you did it and you're just like, or somebody else did it, you know what I mean? It's the vibe that would keep me coming back to Super Park every year. I wouldn't want to miss it for the world, for sure. You get the, the Super Park family, if you will, and it's the people who just kind of I found a home here, you know, be it the Partinghams, the Cravens, the, you know, the Ben Fergusons and the Worms, you know, it's, it's not any one generation, you know. And then there's Kunad, you know, that's, Kunad's crazy. He's kind of like a cult hero in snowboarding. It's inspiring to hear people screaming and cheering for you. And it's nice to have that warm family. There's some funny nightlife stories for sure <laughs> that are burned into my memory. That party was insane. Like The hype was definitely way up there. The raccoon would come in and we'd shut the sliding glass door and everybody would have to stay in their chair and whoever blew first lost and had a drink. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Super Park is the sickest, especially the parking lot. <laughs> I think without friends at Super Park, it, there wouldn't really be much of a point. Getting everybody here and embracing fun and the, like all of it is really good for snowboarding. It's great to see uh, just the different generations coming together and gelling together. As snowboarding is getting older now, you know, there's that 10 year old kid from Australia all the way up to, you know, Roach. Pretty soon there's going to be like 60 year olds here at Super Park just hanging out. Well, hopefully, wouldn't that be cool, you know? What I look forward to, I mean, like I said, like it's the community thing. It's like to be connected to snowboarding. That's why I come back, you know? It's, it's 
to see everybody and having an, an outlet like Super Park to bring everyone together and express it, it's, it's pretty unique and it's really cool and it comes across really genuine, I think, for the people that are here, you know, and it needs to be that way. Like, it's more like a family that way. <laughs> I rode the trailer with Mike Ranquit, hanging out with him yesterday at the same time. Red Gerard's like on the chairlift behind me, who's like, you know, 30 years younger or whatever it is. And I mean, this is kind of the heart and soul of snowboarding and, you know, the, the spirit of it is really personified, I think. I want to just get back with with the community of, of snowboarders and kind of just remember what it's like to uh, to to be around people who know how to get their get their everything together uh, because everything we have on planet Earth is on top of that board. Pat. Come on, man. Turn the chair back on. Come on. Hey, come on, guys. Come on. Hey. Come on, Pat. You're not funny. Come on. You're not funny, Pat. That wasn't very smooth at all.